In internet, so I do not know, but it looks like he's finally loaded, and we are in the match. I'm gonna go, get, go ahead and get the production and the players up there. GLHF already from uh, Lunius. Lunonus. I hope that's how he says. Okay, spawning in the bottom right hand corner, we have uh, spawning as the Red Zerg, Mr. Mamba. As far as I'm aware, he has entered the three um, past European tournaments, so he is quite active and it is quite enjoying the tournaments, as far as I'm aware. He is a bronze player, so not quite sure um, what to expect from him. I have seen him do cheeses and macro games before, but I'm going to go ahead and introduce the left-hand corner. Okay, spawning in the left-hand corner we have as the cyan uh, blue. I'm going to go ahead and uh, say cyan, I'm not quite sure. M-I-W Lunonus. I hope that's how you say it, I'm not quite sure. Feel free to correct me in the chat room. I'm not quite sure what M-I-W stands for, maybe it is a clan and he is just entering the tournament uh, for practice, who knows. Uh, what to expect in this kind of matchup, I'm not quite sure. Uh, maybe in a very early expansion from both players. Or it could be some some sort of early harassment. Or we have some sort of already cross scouting from Mr. Mamba, I'm not quite sure why he's doing that. Because it could be very close by ground. Maybe he knows it could be either cross, uh, close, cross spawns or close by air, which is what he is doing right as of now. Already has a spawning pool on the way. Uh, a, t a ten pool, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, that looks like a ten pool to me. L Leonis, Leolis, is that how you say it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Already we have a scouting SCV already going down to uh, scout very first bottom uh, right hand corner where it, uh, Mamba actually is. Already we're getting a wall. Off. We are getting a wall off from MIW. Until I can actually feel confident to pronounce his name, I apologize. I'm gonna probably call him MIW a few times. Uh, Mamba's already gonna go ahead and get the scout over here. We'll be uh, actually seeing that he has not gone for gas as of yet, so he will not be expecting Reapers. Uh, for his kind of level, I'm actually uh, surprised that he's already going for such, uh, a very defensive build. And considering, uh, hmm, MIW has already scouted him, he's already making four Zerglings in defense of this. I would have uh, expected him to actually make four uh, just two Zerglings, just to get rid of that scout, but from the looks of things... He might be going, trying to pull off some kind of aggression. Considering uh, Mr. MIW uh, Luonis has not got a bunker yet, he will be able to do this pressure. Maybe he's just trying to target fire this um, Overlord first before he actually gets this bunker. But from the looks of things, if uh, actually Mambo is actually not moving out right now, and he actually is right. Yes, very good. That's nice to see from him, his side. Gonna go ahead and take it easy, not expecting very much uh, considering. Uh, Mamba is in Bronze League, but he could be um, a Smurf. <laughs> Who knows? He could be a Silver player in disguise. But in the meantime, we have four Marines that have actually spawned. They will be able to deny all these Zerglings. Already sm sniping off one Zergling, and two Zerglings will be able to get away. But in the meantime, he is actually um, building two more barracks and already getting double gas. So he may be doing a heavy uh, bio push uh, behind this expansion. Or he could be transitioning to a very, very fast mech, as of the sorts. I'm not quite sure. This build order is very confusing. <laughs> if you guys uh, recognize it, feel free to mention it in the chat room. Because this... It does look like a solid build as of now. Very heavy marine, maybe going into um, some sort of mech, or very heavy... Um, maybe Marauder? No third expansion going down from Mamba, not even making any drones, making loads and loads of Zerglings, feeling very scared right now for some reason, maybe feeling very confused, already going for a layer, very confusing from his half. Okay, looks like it may be a free racks pressure. Already making a tech lab and a reactor. Thank you very much, uh, Adam Sultan, for mentioning that. So behind this he may be getting a third or actually teching up to either medevacs or either some kind of heavy mech. Could be uh, some sort of hellions into tanks. Hmm. 
but still from Mamba's side, he's actually only just built three drones at the seven minutes mark for his natural. As you can see uh, in the units tab, we have 25 drones in comparison to 30 SEVs. Mamba is not uh, behind that much, but it still will affect him massively. Already going for double gas, so it looks like he may be going to some sort of tech. Maybe fast Mutalisk? Banelings? Maybe a late Baneling bust? Does not look like he will be going for a third base as of yet. And as it as I uh, I mentioned earlier, it looks like um, Luolis. Luolis. Hope that's how you say it. Uh, is going to go ahead and go for that third uh, com command center. Already making his factory, and uh, this free racks some sort of a pressure. Um, looks like it won't be for the meantime. Uh, will not be happening. I'm thinking uh, until we actually get Stim, he will be moving out. He's already got the map control, as we can see. But uh, Mamba's not actually doing anything with these Urglings. He could be getting map control, taking advantage, and making the Terran feel very scared. But he's not actually doing that. But in the meantime, I really like his Overlord positioning. It's nice to see that uh, he, we see the Terran that is not uh, doing any pressure against him. We do not see any overlords across the map, considering uh, he has not got any map control. I'm not surprised. But in the meantime, we do see loads and loads of Marines about to move out. Already salvaging that bunker, hinting out that he is ready to move out. And it looks like he will be going for some sort of uh, Marine tank build. Already, already getting that Starfall underway, and his third commander is... Command center is re uh, ready to make those SUVs all ready to turn into an orbital command. Let's go ahead and look in the production tab, and we do see Mulas on Mamba's side. I'm sorry, I did not spot that spire. Five Mulaska pressure will be coming by. Maybe uh, some some sort of a Zergling run by will be able to get into the fruit of the natural. But in the meantime, we do see a uh, Luolis moving out with all those Marines. So this Mulas field will actually get denied massively by these Marines, and it's very easily easy for him to actually trans uh, transition into Vikings, considering he's already got, got that reactor under underway for his starport. But in the meantime, we do see his Mutalisk not even deciding to move out. So he did actually, in fact, uh, get uh, some sort of map control, so he does see all these Marines moving out right now. And in the meantime, we do see, see him making two more spine crawlers. more Zerglings are on the way. Zergling speed, very, very delayed Zergling speed is on the way, and plus one flyer attacks upgrade is on the way for the Mutalisk. Four Overlords are on the way, considering he is supply blocked. And already we have a stim that is completed as well as... Let's have a look, actually, in the tech lab. We have a uh, combat shield on the way. No concussive as of yet, considering he has not got any marauders. I am not surprised. But in the meantime, he is not going to stim. He's probably going to get a little bit of a scout first. And he does see those sp spine crawlers are about to pop in. He will be able to sp snipe one spine crawler and forcing the engagement. Not even a... <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Really nice uh, stutter micro coming down right there. Nice little split. And considering all those Zerg free Zerglings are coming out, oh my goodness, I don't even know what to really say about this. <laughs> Absolutely unfortunate on Mamba's behalf, but these Mulisks will be able to die. Too many Marines are almost sniping absolutely everything, but we do have 24 Vert Zerglings are on the way, and this defensive spy crawler and the Queen will be able to deny this pressure. But in the meantime, he did sacrifice. Both players did sacrifice their army. But in the meantime, we do see uh, Luolis already getting ready for the drop, and three tanks are have already siege. So it looks like he will be going for the drop straight away. Hopefully, um, Mamba will be making a bailing nest in defense of this, considering he cannot afford to keep going Mutalisk, and he knows that he's going to continue making heavy heavy Marines. But in the meantime, we see Spore Crawlers coming up, not even a uh, bailing nest. That's a lot of Spore Crawlers, so he knows that he will be dropping. But in the meantime, he does not know that he has Siege or any tanks. That will be very dangerous to see from his path. And these Zerglings will be able to move in and actually get us around on that one tank and the Marines. Very unfortunate to see right there, but the tank will be sniped off and these Marines are still taking all, down all those Zerglings, forcing two Queens to be able to snipe this off. And that pressure, that drop, has been denied. But in the meantime, we do see uh, Luolis already going for the, his fourth command center, not moving out his third as of yet, but keep uh, he's, I'm, I assume he's actually keeping up with his SEV production, which he is. 
As we can see in the production tab, he is not making any SCVs in the meantime. But we do see double upgrades coming for him. Finally, a plus one double upgrade from uh, both players, apart from air attacks uh, from Mamba. He has beaten uh, upgrades as of that part. But in the meantime, we actually do see Luolis already moving out with his army, knowing that he uh, Mamba is already behind in his economy and only has Zerglings. Not even a Baneling list. Uh, Roach Roran is going down. I'm not quite sure why he's going Roach. Maybe feeling that he needs a bit more of a tanky army. I'm, I'm very confused to this right now. But we do see Luolis already getting ready to maybe do a flank drop while he's uh, actually... Not a flank drop, just doing a drop, drop maybe uh, getting hit the rest of his army walking up the natural to uh, do as much damage, uh, damage as possible. But it uh, looks like he will be pulling some SEVs and... Oh! Looks like he is actually lagging. Nope. Carrying on. <laughs> I was going to say, if he lagged out right then, that would be very unfortunate. Oh no, Luolis, you got this. Come on, man. Your internet connection can stay up. Awesome, he's got this. Hmm. Okay, sieging up and already stimming in. Taking it down, not uh, just one spine crawler, forcing an engagement with those Zerglings. Already sniping off all the, half of those Zerglings, and very, very unfortunate to see uh, Mamba throwing away that army right there, not get, even producing. Looks like he's producing seven Mutalists, confusingly. Hmm. <laughs> I, I must say, I can't see uh, Mamba coming back from this right now. Uh, he's confused me to no end. And... FK. So knowing he has done wrong, and he will be uh, <laughs> a little bit of a mana mule right there. And there is the good job, and GG. Looks like Loelos will be moving into the second round.